Hey there, today I am sharing travel tips to help you find the best backpack. I will be testing backpacks from Samsonite, eBags, Marmot, and other top backpacks. I will test their capacity and their features, as well as with tips that I have learned from each one. If you commute to work, if you pack a laptop, or if you just travel for leisure, this video is going to help you choose the backpack based on my tips that are going to help your packing needs. Travel with a backpack is an essential packing item for me. I use my backpack as an extension of my suitcase. Ask yourself four questions. Do you need pockets in a backpack? How many? Is your backpack for traveling to work? What would you pack in your backpack? And what is the problem the backpack is solving for you? Not all backpacks are created the same. Many of my YouTube viewers ask me how to find my backpack and it is sold out, but I'm going to go through some tips and some features and its capacity to help you see other types. And I will link this one below so that you can see the other kind that this company offers. But I remember that this backpack is for you and your needs. The tips are just based on my experience of 17 plus years as a pilot wife. The more I travel, the more I learn and gather from watching other people and making mistakes and learning on my own. Thanks for visiting my Travel Tips by Laura YouTube channel. I hope you find information and tips in this video that are gonna help you make an educated guess or an ed educated choice for your backpack. And be sure to stick around to the end to hear my passport travel tip. Before I discuss each backpack, we need to address dimensions per airline. Most of the mainline airplanes, the big ones, have size restrictions for the under the seat personal item. They're 18 or 17 inches by 14 by eight inches or 45 by 35 by 20 centimeters. And I'm gonna link the three major airline uh, requirements down below in the description box, along with all the other details from this video. Remember to do your research and find out the size of the airplane that you are gonna be traveling on with that backpack because the 50 seat airplanes, their size requirements are a little bit smaller because the seat widths are a little bit smaller. A personal item size backpack is all that I'm going to be talking about today. All of these will fit underneath your airplane seat. Remember from my traveling with medicines that a CPAP machine, crutches, um, breast milk, those do not count as your liquids or your carry-on or personal item. There are all types of travelers out there, those who like pockets and those who do not need pockets. I am more of a pouch girl, like I need capacity and then I will organize in my pouches. But if you are commuting to work or need a laptop bag, I highly recommend this one that I won from eBags a couple of years ago. I will pack with this if I am taking my laptop and camera because the padding and the storage is, they're both amazing and the features are fantastic. And here's where a lot of people would put their cords for their electronics, their laptop um, charger once they get to the hotel room, the iPad charger. In this front section alone, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, even with the little Velcro section, seven, eight, nine, and then 10 pockets. And then there's also space for the pen. And then down here is, it's kind of funky, but down here is where if you wanted to store your laptop cords, your hefty, bulky items, you could. And it has a very firm, almost uh, really firm cardboard backing to it with some felt right there that is great for storage and protection. You need to know if you like mesh pockets. My husband as a pilot loves mesh pockets because they have a lot of stretch to them and he can see immediately what he needs. This is a feature I don't care for as leisure travel. Um, it only opens like this. I understand that you only need that much sometimes when you're traveling, but there's also a flap kind of pocket. Some people like that. But in the very back is where I would store my laptop. So I'm not sure what all you would store in there. Maybe some legal pads or some manila folders, that kind of thing. Lots of storage back here, but again, it only opens like that. It's almost like a briefcase backpack. And it has a handle on the top and a handle on the side so that you could really 
store this or use this as a briefcase. And if you want to, you can even cross the straps by hooking them, by hooking this one over there and this one over there. It would cross the straps and kind of uh, secure them. One of the best features that they have is that this pocket for your water bottle can be zipped and totally flattened. One of the best features of this laptop backpack is that you can fit this over your handles and be totally hands-free. You don't have to worry about balancing your backpack on top of your carry-on suitcase walking through the airport or walking outside a couple of blocks to the work area, <laughs> the skyscraper. If you are carrying a laptop, it is going to have padding, but pay attention to the padding. This has three sections of very firm and thick padding, which is really hot and sweaty for me walking through like if you're touring a city. Now my husband just celebrated his 20th anniversary with an airline and instead of choosing like a five person boat or a crystal vase, he chose a Samsonite backpack. This thing is monstrous. You can see set beside my backpack, it looks huge. It does fit the dimensions for underneath an airplane seat. I didn't even put a paper towel roll inside it because I knew it would fit. I mean, you could probably fit two inside here. This is how much bigger it is than just a roll of paper towels. One of the features I like about my husband's backpack is that the back pocket for your computer also has these little pockets in it for organization and in an inside inner pocket, even with a little Velcro strap that you could set in there to really extra protect it. This backpack is eight pounds. The zippers go all the way to the bottom on the big pocket and inside you have like one up here, a zipper pocket up here, a mesh pocket. It is mesh all the way down to the bottom of the backpack. You have huge storage. That's where you could fit a paper towel roll. And you have two flap pockets down in here. It is a nice manly color, I think, with the army green inside. You also have a pocket here. And then this, when you unzip both sides of the pocket, it's like it folds out instead of opening up, which is really nice. And it sits up on its own pretty much. It's almost like it is surrounded by cardboard, but you can't feel the cardboard. I don't know if there's something stiff in their zippers or what. On the front, I like this side little pocket right here. Then there is this front pocket right here. And then there is a zipper pocket here. And they are shallow. It goes like the width or depth of my hand. And then in the bottom section of pockets on the front section is another pocket right here. And it really spreads open. Like it, you're not like sticking your hand down there. Oh, what am I going to find? It's like a high maintenance pocket to sift through. It's an easily, easily accessible pocket, <laughs> if that makes sense. But there's a ton of room down in here. And then you also have this pocket with additional pockets, like flat pockets inside. Now let me show you the water bottle pocket. It is on both sides, but it's almost like a flap, if you can see that. And then if you need the space, look at this. It's got like these elastic sections of it that can really expand for a bigger water bottle or something deep. On the back, you have a subdued padding for that whole laptop area. And then you also have another two pockets on the back, like here's one, and then there's a zipped one right here. It's amazing. We really like the straps of this one. They're thin enough and they're padded, but they don't feel um, heavy or constricting into your skin, kind of, if you know what I mean. Like these kind of, whoa, these kind of straps, they kind of dig into your skin after a while, especially if it's heavy. And this backpack does weigh about eight pounds on its own. <laughs> You would like this kind of a backpack if you need a lot of storage and really sturdy backpack that you're not gonna carry around while sightseeing or something like that. For my backpack needs, capacity is the number one most important factor. I always roll up a hoodie or a jacket and put it in the base of my backpack. For testing purposes, I have a roll of paper towels down there and that shows you the space that my hoodie or my jacket would take up. Think of what big thing can be taken out of your suitcase 
and put or packed in the bottom or base of your backpack. And then that gives you a good six inches, almost like a slimline suitcase of space inside that back pocket. Now mine is basically like a school size, a Jansport backpack, but with a little softer fabric. My mom did buy this exact same backpack, but she did not want to take it to Israel. So I'm going to show you hers that she brought just the other day that I videoed um, in a little bit. When I get on the airplane, most everything is in the back of my backpack. And then I take out what I'm going to need for the flight, like my headphone holder, my phone prop, my charger for my phone, my power bank. I want you to think about like what kind of headphones you use. Most airplanes have like the entertainment system. If you have a newer iPhone, make sure you have the right little adapter to, um, for older airplanes. And I talk about that in my uh, what to take to Europe or not to forget when you go to Europe video. I'll link it in the cards and below, but just think about that. And then also think about what can stand up vertically in that front pocket. So I take that stuff out of my backpack and store it in the seat back pocket. And then I put the rest of my backpack and that hoodie, I just stuff it on top of my backpack underneath the airplane seat. Are you going to pack like a crossbody in there? I had another subscriber tell me that she packs her makeup brushes in her empty crossbody bag that she's going to use once she gets to her destination. I bought this really cute navy one from Francesca's about two years ago, and I don't like it. I need to just give it away. It has one pocket, but I don't like the big old thick lip. It makes it cumbersome trying to get into the backpack, but I can fit like a hoodie in there and that's about it. Maybe a book or a couple of pouches. So think about what your needs are. What problem is the backpack solving for you? Now this is what my husband has used for the last 10 years, eight years. And it has been totally fine and functional based on their features. The front pocket is really, really deep. I took a picture of a, what I think is a hiker traveler and it's by Marmont and it looked amazing, but it was more of a suitcase size backpack for you, but I'll link it below if I can find it. Okay. And then monstrous storage capacity to pack lots of things in here. And it does have the padding in the back for a uh, laptop and the flap right there. I'm not sure what this hook is. If you know, leave me a comment below. <laughs> On the e-bags and the Samsonite backpack, we love that you can fit it over your handles of your suitcase. But on this one, he has this kind of strap that goes across. So it locks them and it also locks it down here at the bottom. You can see it's a long, they're long extra straps. So he just wrapped them around, but that lets you put them on your suitcase handles and not be worried about balancing your backpack. Like I said, my mom has my exact same backpack, but when she went to Israel, she thought it was going to be too small. And actually it's about the same dimensions. She thought she would have more room in this backpack because it does have four pockets. Mine has two large pockets. Now to me, it's not that much of a difference, but each pocket is pretty deep. This is also a school like backpack and one paper towel tube or roll can fit down in there like a hoodie would or a thick, thick sweater would. And then here you have this pocket on the inside that would protect a laptop per se. On the back, she does have the three pads of protection or comfort, if that makes sense. And the third pocket, is just as deep you would not be able to fit a paper towel roll down in there but she can fit several things down in there then there's this pocket that also has an additional little slip pocket and a little additional slip pocket so lots of little gadget spaces areas or gadget space areas and then she's got her t90 little pocket right there that you could maybe fit your hand down into this zips they do all four zip and then the pockets that are inside do not zip they're open kind of pockets if that makes a difference to you when i was looking in her backpack i found this t90 little travel umbrella i'm going to ask her where she got it from and link it below for you it's no bigger than my hand i don't know if she's used it because the cover is still on it and you know how 
uh, high maintenance it is sometimes fitting your umbrella back in the little holder protector thing. But anyway, thought that was interesting. And this is by J World, but I will link it below as well. Here's a great passport tip for you who are traveling with children. If you are traveling abroad, most of the time, the adult carries all the passports, right? Well, when you get to customs or wherever you need to show your passport, it's cumbersome to look through and flip through each page to find the picture so that you know which passport belongs to which kid. A great tip is to just put a little sticker on the back with each child's initials. And that way when you get there, you can just look at the sticker. Okay, this has J, it belongs to Jake. This belong belongs to Susie, that kind of thing. I hope that helps. Anyway, I hope this test of the top backpacks will help you make an educated guess on a backpack that fits your needs based on my experience and my tips that I have learned. Thanks again for visiting and have a great trip wherever you go.